I will explain wildcards and like operator in this video. So first of all, let's check what are wildcards. Uh, wildcard characters are used with like operator and uh, SQL wildcards are used to search for data within a table. Now in this video, I'm going to explain two wildcards. One is percentage symbol and one is underscore. Percentage is to substitute zero or more values and whereas the underscore it looks for wherever you have the underscore only one single character only single character can be substituted there now let's take an example this is my table um, like operator test that's the name of the table and i have these values here now the question is find the details of the people and the details of the persons who belongs to cse department fine so I'll write Select star from table name where department like CSC execute and as you can see I got the uh, results Mr. Rahul Sharma and Sai Krishna they belong to the department CSC. Another thing is uh, so this is your like operator it looks for a match. Now the question is find the name of the people find the details of the people whose name starts with R so how will we do this question we have to find the details of the people whose name starts with R so I said the name has to start with R after that anything could be written there so if anything zero or more characters can be substituted there so I'll use the symbol percentage because I can say the name of the person is R only, the name of the person is Ram, two characters, the name of the person is Rahul, four characters. Name of person could be anything started by R. So if I click on execute, now I get the message no row selected. And if I check my table, select star from table name execute okay the, the mistake that I have done is select star from table name where department like this I am matching the starting character with the department but I have to want to match it with the name so click on execute and as you can see as I got the two names starting with the symbol R now the second thing, the second option that you can use with this is you can define any character. Let's say I've said the find the name of the person who has MA at the end. So it means zero or more characters could be substituted in the beginning, but the name has to end with MA. Now let's execute it. So I got the name, I got the details of the person whose name ends with MA. Now the last option with like operator is I can also use this percentage R percentage. Now what's the meaning of this? Meaning of this is if I do the half portion first, it means in the starting anything could go there, but it has to end with R. Now if you look at the other part, it means in the beginning R has can go there followed by anything and if I combine both the things it means the board the letter R has to appear somewhere in the name it can be at the beginning it can be at the second position third fourth or whatever position but it has to present so if I click on execute R is here in the first name selected R is here in the second name selected R is here in the third name selected so that's how uh, your like operator is working now this was your percentage now talking about the another one your underscore underscore looks for only one single character wherever there is underscore it will look for only one character okay if I say I'm looking for a person whose name starts with something uh, let's say whose name is R I'm looking for yeah R underscore H U L 
Rahul Sharma. Execute. It says that quoted string not properly terminated. That means I have started some code and I have forgot to close it. So let's close it first. Execute. And as you can see, R, it got a match. R is matching with this. Then anything could go at the place of underscore H U L followed by this. Now if I put two underscores here and click on execute. Now there is no row selected. Why? Because R at the beginning followed by any two characters followed by H U L space Sharma. And there is no one whose name is like this R followed by two characters H U L space Sharma. So that's why we're getting the answer no row selector. Now let's combine both operators together. If I say find the name, find the details of the person whose name uh, has N, whose name has H at the third location. So if the if in the name, so where name like N has to be at the third location, so I'll use underscore one that will give one character. Second underscore will be used to enter any second character at the third location there has to be h followed by any number of characters so one underscore for one character another underscore for second character a fixed letter is h at the third location followed by anything so if i click on this it says that invalid character oh i've got to put the strings See, whenever you give any value from your, your side, you will always use the quotes. And here is the match. So there is someone whose name is like this, who has H at the third location. So we are getting the output. Now one more thing, if I use capital H and click on execute, I got the message, no row selected. Why? Because I'm saying any two characters at the first location followed by capital H. And your data is case sensitive. There is no one who's, who has capital H at the third location. So that's why we are not getting any row. In one more thing, let's take one more example. Uh, find the department. Find the details of the person whose department has the letter G at the second location. So we have to apply the query on the department. Condition is on the department. So I'll write department. Now the condition was the letter G at the second location. So underscore that means anything could go at the first location followed by G followed by any number of characters. And of course, since I'm providing the value, so I have to put that in quotes invalid relational operator now the thing is whenever you are working with the condition where you have condition you always has three things first you will define your column name followed by operator followed by value i provided the column name but i forgot to provide the operator so my operator is like and the last one is the value the comparison will be done with this value. So click on execute. And the answer is there are two people who are working with this department who has G at the second location. So these were your Y cards and like operator. Thank you.